Ah, ah, it's biting. Ah. Oh. You put on your shoes and feel a burning pain in your foot right away. Your whole leg starts feeling stiff. The room spins as your vision blurs and your stomach clenches in pain. What could have caused this agony? Here's how to survive. A Black Widow Infestation Black widows are venomous spiders located in many warm areas. The most common species in the U.S. are the Southern Black Widow, which have a red hourglass shape on its black, shiny body, and the Northern Black Widow, which has a row of spots and red, yellow, or white lines. Only female black widows are dangerous to humans. They got their name from sometimes killing and eating males after mating. Black widows measure about four centimeters long and weigh about one gram. Their male counterparts tend to be brown and smaller. A black widow bite can cause muscle spasms, abdominal or chest pain. Other common symptoms include difficulty breathing, nausea, and fever. How strong is a black widow's venom? What makes their web so unique? And how can you avoid an attack? Black widow's venom is 15 times stronger than a rattlesnake's. But the little spider's bites inject less venom into our bodies, so they're less toxic, but it will be painful. So how can you stop these nasty biters from getting into your home? Step 1. Look for messy webs. The first sign of a black widow infestation would be the spider web. Look for a messy web with an irregular shape located close to the floor or ground. You could also find a silken sack containing 50 to 100 eggs. They hatch every 30 days. And despite their name, newly hatched black widow spiderlings are all white. If you suspect your home or property is infested, double check your shoes and clothes before wearing them, especially if they've been in a dark closet. Step two, get the vacuum. Vacuum your house to get rid of the spiders, webs, and eggs. Use strong scents to keep black widows away. Mix water with eucalyptus, tea tree oil, or peppermint and spray it outside your windows and doors and below furniture. If you come across a black widow, your options are to kill it or trap it. You can kill it by using a broom or other item that lets you attack from a distance. If you don't like to kill living creatures, you can trap the spider by using a jar or catch it with bug traps, then remove it from your property. But be careful, black widows are reclusive and want to be left alone. They get aggressive and will attack if you disturb them. If you can't get rid of the spiders, consult a professional exterminator. Step 3. Keep your house clean. Black widows love a messy place where they can hide in the dark all day and look for food during the night. Start by sealing entryways, removing moisture, and cleaning dark hidden spaces. Pay special attention to basements, attics, crawl spaces, and the underside of furniture. To prevent black widow spiders from collecting in outdoor areas, remove lumber piles and old boxes, remove any trash, and always wear gloves when handling outdoor garbage. Step 4. Treat the bite. If you suspect a black widow bit you, your first priority would be to get medical treatment as soon as possible. If a doctor prescribes a painkiller, take all of it as prescribed and not only when you feel pain. If you can't get to a hospital right away, wash the bite area thoroughly with soap and water, then apply a cold compress. If you get bitten on your arm or leg, keep it elevated to prevent inflammation. Apply a topical antibiotic to the bite and take a non-prescription pain reliever. In 2020 in Bolivia, three young boys found a black widow spider while herding goats. They took turns poking the spider with a stick to coax it into biting them. They believed the spider would give them superpowers like Spider-Man. As they began suffering from fevers, tremors, and muscle pains, their mother rushed them to a hospital in La Paz. The boys needed a full week of treatment and monitoring. They learned the hard way that black widow spiders are no joke. But this is not the only venomous spider in the world, and it's certainly not the deadliest. Which spiders could harm and even kill you? We've got a video about that too, here on How to Survive.